everyone oh my goodness oh my goodness this video is late <laughs> it's been a long time coming i've had this parcel for so long and i've been really wanting to film it but i've been just really really busy and obviously like all my videos i want to put 100 percent effort into my videos so i've been waiting and waiting and i'm so excited to open this so a little while ago, you might remember if you saw it, I did post um, some stories on a company called Elsie Boutique Wax Melts and I'm obsessed with their wax melts. And she very kindly sent me a load of wax melts for me to try and show you all and I'm so excited um, because I absolutely love wax melts. Firstly, can we talk about this packaging? That is the cutest wrapping I've ever seen in my life. So this is their little logo here. They're on Instagram and Facebook, so you can go and find them there. But yeah, let's just open these up and see what's inside. So I believe this is their monthly box. Um, I'm just going to check. Oh my goodness. How cute is that? <gasps> okay, right. Yeah, like I said, firstly, packaging a 10 out of 10. So if you're looking for a present for someone, wax melts are the one. Um... I have recently actually bought someone a present from from this company and they absolutely loved it. I just think you can't go wrong with wax melts. Um, but yeah, the packaging is super cute. You can't really see. I'll try and I'll take it out. But so you've got a cute little picture saying you're amazing. I couldn't think what that was called then. Um, you're amazing. Got some cute little. Um, I don't know what these are called. Little pictures decorations but yeah you get some of them in there you get some sweets mm -hmm. um and then obviously you have got all the wax melts so i'll show you those in a minute i've got a nice range here oh my god like they look good enough to eat i'm so excited and yeah i've got some more in here as well i've got so many to show you um i don't even know where to start um i think i'm going to start with the monthly box and just talk you through it um I think this is such a good idea. I've got a little cheat sheet here so that I can sort of help you and give you the most information possible. And yeah, I've just figured out that these are actually stickers. So how cute is that? I love that. Yeah, let's go through the monthly box. Firstly, they do a monthly box, like I said. And this was their, actually their first ever monthly box, which is now sold out. So thank you so much for sending this to me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this was the June box. I'm going to show you everything that was in the June box. And then I'll tell you what's in the July box. And then obviously August, there'll be something different in the August box, which I don't obviously know what's in that yet. So there's only 20 available each month. And you basically, it's just first come first serve so if you want one you can go and get one um and you can obviously pick and choose if you want it each month it's not a subscription at all so each month is a themed box this is all different flavor like fruit so I'll, I'll tell you about this in a minute i know i keep like giving you different information but next month is a summer box so in this box this like i said it was the june box so i'm really sorry this is sold out that's my fault for being so late on making this video um but this is a pear drops and this is the brittle i love the brittle personally i just think it looks really cute um and it's obviously perfect amount to put in your um wax burner because then you don't have to put too much um let's smell this this is called pear drops oh that's really nice very fruity and this is like a pink and yellowy color um oh oops um, and it's got all the glitter in like this. I think this would melt really nice in the wax burner. Um, and it looks like this. We've got the watermelon crush, which is pink and green with glitter. Love that. Love that. It's designed like a watermelon. Oh, I love that. And then we've got the strawberry and rhubarb. Oh, wow. Oh, by the way, these are these snap bars. This is a big, big one. Thanks. And I love that it's got like the drizzle over the top. It looks like chocolate. If this was brown. You'd be tempted to eat it, wouldn't you? Mm. Obviously, with these flavours, they kind of speak for themselves to what they smell like. Um, so don't really need to go into description wise. They just smell really nice and fruity. They literally smell 
that smells like pears that smells like strawberry and rhubarb that smells like watermelon we've got the sunripe raspberries i love raspberries one of my favorite fruits oh my goodness mm, this one's my favorite so far and that one looks like that how pretty and nicely designed are these this is called sweet orange and these are the little hearts these are very cute looks like a peach mm. oh and that's got like a goldy kind of dust on the top love that and then finally i've got juicy apple mm. that one's not as strong i don't think but it's still nice Oh, I love the green glitter. I don't think the quality is very great on my phone. You get loads in a, in the box. You get absolutely loads. Because this was the June box. Like I said, it is sold out now, unfortunately. Um, but they do have different ones every month. Most of the scents you get in the box are limited edition. So if you see a scent that you like, you got to grab it whilst you can. Um, although some of them do stay if they do get really like well reviewed. I like that it comes with a range of like different styles, like the hearts, the snap bites, the brittle, because obviously then you can try what you prefer. So I'm going to just tell you what's in the July box, um, just in case that you were interested. There's only a few left. They're nearly sold out. So they may actually be sold out by the time that I finish this video, but obviously you can go and check for yourself. Enough. I'm gonna read it from my from my laptop because obviously I can't remember that off the top of my head. So the July box is a summer theme and it sounds so nice. Um, so you got hibiscus and coconut water, which is sea salt, hibiscus, coconut water, and creamy sandalwood. You've got porn star martini, one of my favourite cocktails, which is passion fruit puree, sweet vanilla, and a shot of fizz, just like the cocktail. That sounds so nice. Um, you've got Sea Breeze, which is a marine accord with floral rose and orchid and fresh green notes. Oh, that sounds lovely. Island Paradise, which is soft peach, orange. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Bergamot? 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 Oh, no. I'm going to have to figure out how to pronounce it. Pronunciation. Bergamot. Bergamot. Does anybody else do that? Go on to Google and figure out how to pronounce things. But yeah, so you've got the bergamot with creamy vanilla and almond. Oh. Holiday romance. Tropical ro tropical romance. Tropical mango, ripe papaya, orange, raspberry and crisp cream apple. That sounds lovely as well. And then finally, nine minute holiday. Rich coconut, creamy almond, vanilla sandalwood and tonka smells like hawaiian tropic tannin oil that sounds amazing i love like vanilla sandalwood coconut and um, all those kind of scents that is like my favorite there's one that i'll show you in a minute that's in this box this is my ultimate favorite um i don't actually know what the scent is so i'm gonna figure that out in a minute but yeah the monthly box i think that's such a good idea go and get yourselves a monthly box because even if it's not for yourself if it's for a gift i think this is so lovely Okay, let's show you what I've got in this box now. So we're gonna start with the brittle. So this one is bamboo. This one's inspired by the Gucci bamboo perfume. It doesn't actually smell like bamboo, which is what people think. Um, oh goodness, this is a very well sealed bag. Oh, that is so nice and it's so pretty oh my goodness so this is why i love the brittle i just love how rustic it is we've got some little hearts which is in a door this one's inspired by the jador dior perfume that was a tongue twister mm, that's lovely as well this one's not as like powerful but some people like that some people don't really like really overpowering scents but that one smells lovely as well. We've got baby powder. 
who else is a big fan of any kind of baby powder scent anything like that that is one of my favorites just you just can't go wrong with baby powder mm, that literally smells exactly like baby powder i really like the simple design for baby powder got really cute little stars and moons on that that smells lovely mm. we've got aloe vera and cucumber Ooh, that one's gonna be nice and fresh And that one looks like this. This one's Meadow Lily and Cotton Musk. Oh my God. That one's so nice as well. Um, that one looks like this. I'll show you one of the other ones. It's got some blues and creams in there. Mm, what? So this is a powdery soft woody floral with a heart of meadow lily, jasmine, white neroli and iris wood. Wrapped in clouds of dreamy musk, precious amber and smooth creamy vanilla. I'm in my absolute element. I wish I had a cup of tea. You know, I'm gonna go and make a cup of tea just so I can really enjoy this experience. I'm back, I've got my tea. Right, so this one is Daisy So Fresh. Is that inspired by? I thought it was. Yeah, this one's inspired by the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume. I know I'm going to like this because I've bought that perfume before. But this is like floral with mandarin, sorbet, sweet apple blossom and lotus, jasmine, magnolia, violet. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. That one's quite fruity, but it's lovely. So, yeah, this one's like yellow and it's got um, the pink sort of colours pink orange and a little bit of purple in there as well we have got peony and blush suede love the design on this one um i'll take it out of the packet so you can see properly i really like that drizzle that you put over the top that looks really nice oh that's what it looks like red apple with jasmine rose and gilly flower Mingling with soft, sensual blush suede. Feminine, soft and musky floral. Yeah, it's definitely musky. But yeah, I love that. There is not one that I don't like. Some of them, there's a couple that have been not as strong, but I still like them. Genuinely, I like them all. Um, I'm always honest with my opinion, always. <gasps> I've just seen this amazing i've wow so this is a unicorn shaped one and this is called birthday cake let's figure out what this is first this is um obviously just a description of what's inside the um inside the perfumes because i'm not great at describing scents because I, I would literally just say ah it's cute it smells nice for every single one and i know some of you will be actually interested to know what are the ingredients so this is buttery and vanilla aromas, a sweet scent water of mouth-watering birthday cake, a fresh fluffy sponge, whipped double cream, and finished off with a layer of smooth pink icing. Mmm, <gasps> I'm gonna be able to eat this. That smells like cake. Oh wow. I don't want to wet and mouth this though because it's so pretty. Look, I'm filming this on my phone and I'm a bit annoyed really that I didn't film this on my camera, but I didn't have any memory left um, because I've got so many videos on the go at the moment. Um, but this smells amazing. Obviously with this one, you would not just put the whole thing in the wax melt. You can break it up and use it in, so, in probably like one, two, three, four. I mean, I would say like seven or eight different pieces personally. <laughs> She's right. Large melt, approximately 40 grams to be snapped up. Emotional, I know. That, I don't think, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to bring myself to, to break that up. That is so nice, but it does smell amazing. So I probably will have to. This is really new. So what she does is you can design your own unicorn. So you can choose your own scent. You can choose your own colour, the shimmer, the style. I literally think that is such a good idea. I've never seen anybody do anything like that before. 
Oh my god, I'm blown away. I know I'm really exaggerating. Like, it seems like I'm being really over the top, but I really am so impressed with that. Let's move on from that because I'm I'm just baff. I'm blown away. I need a cup of tea sip. Need a sip. Very hot still. Right, Indian Rose and Musk. I feel like I've already had one like that. No, I had Meadow Lily and Cotton Musk. So this is Indian Rose and Musk, which is multi floral notes. Lang Yang. Lang. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out how to say that now. Ylang Ylang. <laughs> what? How do I say that? Ylang Ylang. Oh, right. Ylang Ylang. Elang Elang. So it's like Elang Elang, right? Got ya. So it's got that in it. <laughs> I'm learning as well. This is going to be a nice fresh scent, I think. Oh. It's quite strong. Yeah, this one's probably my least favourite. So this one has got Elang Elang orange flower, cyclamen and jasmine musk and woods got this one which i'm not sure what it is so i'm just gonna try and look because it's not got the label on the back so i believe this one's ginger lily because i can't see i'm pretty sure the other ones i've already tried so i think this one is um ginger lily oh that's lovely again and this one's very quite um what's the word it's not as strong i don't know what it's just more subtle but that one's really really nice as well that's what this one looks like petal green top notes with water lily freesia um cyclamen and rose musk amber and vanilla and mu oh, i avoid saying words because i can't pronounce them but i need to add that in mu gay Mugay. Mugay. I'm very proud of myself for knowing that. Mugay. That one's really nice. But now, I've been waiting for the last, last but not least, to show you because this one's my my personal favourite. Get back in, get back in. This one is called Lords of Misrule and it's inspired by Lush, which I didn't know until right now. And this one is inspired by a bath bomb and it's a herbal blend of patchouli, peppercorn and black pepper with vanilla pods. Oh, this is my favourite smell out of all of them. I know this one because I've already had this one before. Oh, it's just dreamy. I could just wear this as a perfume. I'm, I didn't even know that there was a bath bomb. So that now I'm going to go and buy the bloody bath bomb. But I love the design on this one. It's very like not gothic but just like um like dark and and just nice yeah it just suits it lords of misrule this is stunning i love the little detail of the shells and the glitter i've actually got this one currently in my wax burner i can't really pour it okay <laughs> right I'll, I'll show you in a minute but yeah I've already got that one in my wax burner that's the one I use all the time and I believe I only had one little heart left so I'm so glad I've got some more again with this you can chop this up you would not use this in one um it would just be a waste because you really don't need that much so with the wax burners obviously you can use a wax burner like this which you put the tea, tea light candle underneath and it obviously wax um melts the wax on top and um, but i personally mostly use an electric one like i've already shown you um just because i find them a lot easier because tea lights um do obviously run out um and then you have to buy more but um i really love the look of a tea light because they especially at night time when the lights off and you've got the tea light on and it just creates that like whole vibe so it's obviously completely up to you you can use them in any wax burner so whether it's like a scentsy wax burner or like an electric one or whatever you can use them in any single wax burner if it melts it works all right so i'm just going to show you a couple of little tips on how to remove your wax from the wax melt pots um so everybody does it differently, but I'm going to show you the way that I do it. So the way that I do it is I literally just take a couple of cotton balls or cotton pads um, and I just pop it in the dish, whatever dish it is, 
and I just soak up all the wax from there. If it's obviously one that you've ran out of now and you're not going to use it again because it doesn't really smell anymore, then this is my favourite way of removing it. Um, it's really easy to do. You literally just wipe it down just like that. Obviously, the ones with the glitter in, it is a little bit harder to get out. It's not hard, it's just got to wipe it a little bit more. Um, whereas, obviously, the ones... the uh, I prefer to use the actual cotton discs. Um, and I just put about three or four in and they soak it right up. But I don't have any of them left, so I'm just using cotton pad, um, cotton balls. But it's really, really easy to remove them just like that. Another way that some people like to remove their wax from say like a little candle burner, is you light a tea, tea light, pop it in, and you just let it melt a couple of minutes and then you can literally just pop it out from the top. Don't leave it too long because else you won't be able to do that, but obviously then you've got the second option of being able to wax it. So I'm going to put one in there, actually. What one should I go for? I like them all so much. Yeah, see, look how much cuter that looks. I always use the electric one, but um, oh, that just looks so much prettier. I think I'm going to go for the bamboo in this one. Bit of that in. So let's just let that melt. Yeah, so these are soy wax melts, which have loads of great benefits. They're vegan, they're natural, got a longer burn time than paraffin wax. Oh, right, so this is new. Okay, right. This hasn't normally gone to plan. So you literally can, it's melted really funny. So yeah. What? Normally you can just pop it up out, out of the top, but... It's really done something strange. Um, that really doesn't normally happen. That is really, really weird. Um, normally, yeah, you would literally just... See, did you see that soak up? Normally, you could literally just light the candle. Ah, that's hot. Don't do that. Um, light the candle and it'll just melt a little bit around the bottom and you can just slide it out, but it just did something really weird then. Um, so yeah, if it does that, you can just use cotton pads. Um, but also some people have tried putting it in the freezer. Um, if it's got like a removable dish like this one, you can just pop that in the freezer and apparently the wax then shrinks and it just pops out. So you can give that a try. I personally just go for the, um, the soak up one, but some people do like to change them. Um, when they're sort of still got a little bit of scent left. Two of these cubes or one little heart like that will last you around eight hours. So that's quite a long time. So you can use these on multiple burns. They're all hand delivered in Plymouth. However, they, they can be obviously um, posted as well. So you don't have to be local. Um, I highly, highly recommend this company. Um, they're a small business. They're the best wax melts I've ever tried and I just love them. Who doesn't love a wax melt? If you would like to order any, I have got a discount code for you. It is LE10, so make sure you use that one when you um, order so you can save yourself 10% off. So yeah, I'll leave their link below and all their information on how you can find them, their Instagram page, their Facebook page and their website. Um, go and buy yourself some wax melts, whether it's for you or a friend. It's a great gift. I really, 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 really recommend these. Thank you so much for working with me on this video and sending me all of these amazing um, wax melts. I suppose I'm probably going to have to share them with my mum and my sisters because else they'll be not very happy. <laughs> if you've got any questions, feel free to comment below and I can answer as many as you can. If not, I'm sure Paris can answer them for you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's something a little bit different as well. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.